Hello everyone, this is Jose, aka Dr. Logicate. And this is Ryan, and today we're going to show you how to create the parade of your dreams. Oh yeah. The first step consists of creating the paths that your townspeople and vehicles will follow. For that, just place the path creator toy in the toy box and place all the points needed for that path. If you need to place extra points, you can do it by selecting a path point with the magic wand and pressing the button with the plus icon. You can also go into the properties of the path creator and set the speed property to any value between 1 and 300, so you can make the parade move as fast or as slow as you want. You can also toggle the looped property if you want to have a perfectly looped parade. Oh yeah, and hey, where's he come from? Oh, I just spawned him in with a friend generator. You can use a friend generator to spawn all the townspeople you want in the parade. Once connected, you can go to the properties, then generated friend options, and in the movement style, choose whether they loop, go back and forth, or automatically delete once they reach the end of the path. Oh, that's awesome, but there's one big caveat with the friend generator and path connections. If you have a friend generator with a path connection, do not also make a locator connection. If you do, your friends will not follow the path and will sour your parade. Good to know, Jose. Other things you can attach to the path are vehicles, which you can create with the Vehicle Summoner. We recommend the Electric Mayhem Bus, Cinderella's Coach, Fantasyland Carousel Horse, and of course, the Main Street Electric Parade Power Disc. Ooh, I love that one, but, but it's a power disc. How can I spawn in my toy box when another person downloads it? Oh, that's super easy. You just place the power disc down on your base and make any logic connection to the Vehicle Summoner. In there, select Hexagonal Power Disc at the bottom of the list and your disc will be right there. Oh, sweet. And did you know that you can also place basic blocks on paths as well? Can you? Oh man, totally. Uh, just connect them to the path creator like you would with uh, friend generators or vehicle summoners, but I would suggest turning off the property or to start objects when connected in the path creator so they don't start moving right away. Well, once connected, you can check in the basic block properties, toy box path, and modify the vertical, horizontal, and forward offsets so your block creation is arranged exactly how you want it. And once modified, I suggest making a logic connection to reset and stop the path creator so you know exactly where the block is located. And once you're done, just change that connection to reset and play it and it will start moving. So wait, does this mean you build something out of blocks and you can put it in your parade? Yeah, you can even make an exploding smile face. Isn't that awesome? It's uh, <laughs> certainly something. And don't forget to use the metronome with the music creator toy and the fireworks cannon to make your parade perfect. Well, that's it for this tips and tricks. If you have any questions, ask in the forums or check the Disney Infinity Playlist channel for more in-depth tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you guys.